Thank you, Tammy Sue Baker, and yes. welcome to our program. Hi there. And this is a very important day today that I want to talk to you about the Leviathan spirit. And this Leviathan spirit, many prophets believe that this Leviathan spirit entered full blast into America on 9-11. Mm -hmm. yes. But I believe that this spirit of Leviathan, the Bible warns, warns about him, mm -hmm. very clear. Right. And I want to bring this message in the next two days yeah. on this show about the Leviathan spirit and why we need to be able, we can take the, overtake this spirit. Yes, that's right. We that's can right. defeat this spirit. That's Amen. right. Take authority over it. And uh, I believe that Leviathan spirit has come against our ministry over mm -hmm. the last year or oh, so. Absolutely. And uh, it's time to, and we, you know, come against it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have. Amen. And um, in fact, I mean, Bishop Ron Webb saw that Leviathan on Gray Street here. Yeah. Just an awful looking thing, he right, said. Right, right, mm -hmm. that's right. And he people were just vision. walking around it and just he leaving said, oh, it we're go, used you know. To it, you know? <laughs> and he said, No, you have to break that off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you can be delivered from that Leviathan spirit today. Yeah. Amen. You know, it causes tempers to flare, it causes people's communications to get confused, mm -hmm. it, it uh, causes deep pain in in people uh pride exalts him above god right even mm -hmm. and he, he makes you feel hopeless and overwhelmed mm -hmm. and he's a covenant breaking spirit he keeps you from your goals and it goes on and on mondo there's a lot of a lot of things this Absolutely. spirit does. You know, I think one of the key ones that breaks relationships, and we have yeah. seen how families are broken apart, you know, friends are broken apart, and relationships is one that, you know, is, is a godly principle. Mm. Another one wants to destroy those who serve God. And we that's what we have experienced here in this ministry at the beginning of this year. This spirit of Leviathan wants to destroy, and we're seeing how it's trying to destroy places of worship in California, in New York City, and thank God for godly men and women that are fighting against this spirit. Mm -hmm. That's right. We have my message, the Leviathan has come to America. I preached it on Grace yes, Street yes. Mm -hmm. when with a studio with, audience. With people there, mm -hmm. you know, a large audience. Mm -hmm. And if anyone would like to have a copy of this to share, That's right. this yeah. is an answer to a lot of people's questions yeah. right now. Excellent. What That's is exactly. this spirit that's trying to destroy America? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we need to come against this that's Leviathan right. spirit Absolutely. today. Yeah. And they can get these for how much? Yes, we have one for a donation of $20 to the ministry. And then we also have three, which is our friends and family offer for a donation of $50. And all these offers include shipping and handling, but we've put together a very special offer, which is the 13, the Baker's Dozen for a $100 donation. That's 13 DVDs of the Leviathan has come to America. And I'm telling you, Dad, if it, for those of you sitting out there, if you've never watched or even really heard about the spirit of Leviathan in mm -hmm. detail, mm -hmm. the study of what the Lord from literally from Psalms, from Job all the way to Revelation. I mean, it is, this is a critical message because you are speaking to us and telling us where we are right now. We are watching this title. I, when I heard this title, I said, this is perfect because we have to overcome this spirit of Leviathan that has tried, that is trying to overtake America right now. Yes. And this spirit of Leviathan has come to America. Yes. And I want to share this message with you today. And, and uh, I don't think I'll finish it because it will take me a couple of days to finish this. This is a major message. Yeah. But Leviathan has come to America. That's what's going on right now. Right. It's a divisional spirit. It's a, it's a spirit that causes people to hate each other. Yeah. It just causes a divide among God's people and among the world. Mm -hmm. So this know also that in the last day, 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Mm -hmm. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetousness, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, 
without natural affection. Mm, wow. That's the world today. Yeah. We kill our babies by the millions. That's wow. not natural. That's right. It, the natural thing is to take care of the babies, yes. to, to protect them. The Bible talks about truce breakers. Mm. That's where we are right now. False accusers. Amen. Incontinent. That means loss of control, fears, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady and high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, the Bible says, from such, turn away. Amen. 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 Perfect love casts out fear. Yes. We're living in a time of fear. We need to conquer this Leviathan right. spirit. We have the ability to conquer him. Greater is he that's in us than Leviathan. Yes. And you can have power over Leviathan in your home, in your church, in your city today. Amen. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Yes. Wow. You know, the Bible right now uh, tells us, What's going on? Yeah, yeah. And people say, I can't understand it. People are saying good is evil and evil is good. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it in the streets. Wow. Mm -hmm. They're saying rioting is a good thing. Burning mm -hmm. the cities down is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Killing people is a good thing. Wow. Saying good is evil and evil is good. That's Isaiah 520. Mm -hmm. Psalms 37, do not fret because of evildoers, Amen. nor be envious for the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Amen. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Yes. Thank Delight you. thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you mm. the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. Isn't that good? Yes. Wow. Amen. Amen. Then Isaiah 27, 1 tells us, In that day, the Lord with his severe sword, great and strong, will punish mm. Leviathan. Wow. Mm. wow. The fleeing serpent. Leviathan, that twisted serpent. Mm. And he will slay the reptile that is in the sea. So it's very important we understand that God is in control. Amen. God's going to destroy right. all. A Amen. day when evil is spoken of is good and good is evil. A twisted, that's a twisted. That's what Leviathan does. Wow. Yes. And that's what he's doing in, the, in America. That's what he's doing in the news. That's what he's doing in yeah. Hollywood. This is that's what he's right. been doing over all the, m m the, the the media, all the television, all mm -hmm. the motion pictures, all that we've seen in the world today, it's a twisted calling evil good mm -hmm. and good evil. Yeah, that's right. Who is Leviathan? That twisted serpent. Mm -hmm. Hold on, people. Wow. You need to understand things are twisted. Yes. And it'll twist your family. It'll twist you and your husband, you and your wife. It'll twist you and your children. It'll twist things. People will say something and... You hear something else. <laughs> something <laughs> else. Yeah. You say, you said so-and-so. Yeah. And, so and, yeah. and, and I said, I didn't say that. Right. Yeah. I've had people swear. They said, Jim Baker said on the, in his sermon, he's dumb. <laughs> so and, and, wow. and I look back, I, you know, because we tape everything so yeah. I could look back and see it. And, sure. and I didn't say that at all. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But that Leviathan spirit mm -hmm. makes that spirit. seem real. Mm -hmm. wow. It's a lying, yeah. twisted <laughs> spirit. Mm -hmm. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit mm -hmm. and a great chain in his hand. And he lay hold on the dragon, that old serpent, mm. which is the devil mm. wow. and Satan, wow. and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should re deceive the nations no more Amen. till the thousand years should be fulfilled. 
And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Mm. <clears throat> Turn to Revelation 12, 7, 9. Mm. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Amen. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil yeah. and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's the, the King James version there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm anxious for you to know that you today can cast Leviathan out of your life, yeah. Amen. Amen. out of your church, mm -hmm. out of our towns, mm -hmm. out of our America. It's time, people, that we stood up and we <clears throat> claimed the victory yeah. in the United States of America. Amen. Revelation 16, 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles mm. which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle mm. of the great day of God Almighty. Wow. This is the last day's battle. Mm. Leviathan is a spirit of chaos. You want to write that yeah, down? Right. Wow. There? That, that's one of the points that you yeah. need to know about. Yeah. So when you got chaos in your yes. marriage or chaos in your home, yeah. chaos in your store, chaos where you go to church, when you got a lot of chaos, yeah. wow. <clears throat> that just might be Leviathan. Wow. It, wow. And this is the spirit of chaos. Mm. Many prophets felt that this spirit was loosed on 9-11. Mm. Yeah. This spirit twists communications. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just twist it. Makes people, conf it confuses it. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It makes you argue with your, your neighbors and your friends. Mm -hmm. That's right. And churches split up wow. yeah. over Leviathan. Yeah. Wow. This is a very terrible spirit. It brings confusion. It attacks you. Uh, you know, in your home, Lori doesn't take the garbage out anymore, but <laughs> well, once in a while, but, know, but people rare. argue over, take the garbage out <laughs> yeah. and it gets, it becomes war, civil war mm -hmm. in the, in the family mm -hmm. over one thing, you know what I mean? Oh, and so uh, it blows up little things. That's yeah. really Leviathan will take the least little thing, you know? I mean, silly things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, and little things with the children, even. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've come against that Leviathan spirit, you know, for so many years in, in raising children and, mm -hmm. ra and, 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 and building a ministry from uh, the ground up. Actually, actually, we were like six feet under when you really think about it. And, and, and we built this ministry and we wow. we've taken authority constantly yeah. over this spirit and we will continue to stand and take authority over it right. and conquer the spirit with god and you can do it in your home as well one thing they need to do is they need to turn you need to turn to job 41 this is where you really learn a lot about leviathan mm. to take a whole chapter in the bible and and it's all on the spirit of Leviathan. It makes you understand you're going to just ask the Holy Spirit to show you where is it as you go through it, like I have in my Bible, and I've marked it all up and I've put scriptures and everything. I can preach straight from this Bible on the spirit of Leviathan because I've studied it and I'm like, oh my goodness, this Lord, you know, help me to help me with this situation or that and to overcome with your spirit, Father. Mm. And so it and it works. So if you go to jo Job 41, you'll go through and see, can you draw out Leviathan with the hook or snare his tongue with the line which you let down? Can you put a cord into his nose or pierce his jaw with the hook? I mean, we can. We could go on and on and literally teach you every single word of Job 41 here. But I, as Jim is teaching, you need to get your Bible out and you need to look at Job 
41 and learn about this spirit so that you don't be caught unaware. I think we have to take warfare against Leviathan. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. I believe the church has to come out. That's right. We have we have been attacked in America. We've been attacked in the world. Mm -hmm. this, this spirit of Satan, the spirit of Leviathan has wanted to take over. That's mm -hmm. right. And the church can, has the power. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's time. The, the church has been very, very discouraged and, de you know, just almost depleted mm. in its power, it seems like. Kind of beaten down, yeah. if, you know, unless you have a rah-rah message. But we have to be serious about the days that we're living in, these yeah. last days. And that's but, one of the traits that you're describing. It says it gets into your flesh, your thoughts about life, brings fear, worry, anger, and afraid to speak up. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Humility kills Leviathan. Did you know that? Amen. Amen. So that that's a that's point the you need to mark <laughs> the as hope. you're taking notes today. Humility kills Leviathan. The mm. humble spirit. It's the pride that today. There's such arrogance and pride. People that are in deep sin mm. are prideful against God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they're they're mocking God. Yes. And it's time to have that spirit that loves one another, mm -hmm. the spirit that restores your brothers and sisters, that restores your church. Yes. We've got to restore the church today. It's been almost shattered by the world, mm. by, by Leviathan spirit. This spirit is horrible. It's a spirit that's in the streets of America today. Yeah. yeah. When it burns, when your streets are burning and, and things are happening in the streets and people are being killed in the streets and all, that's a spirit of Leviathan. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's a spirit that says, oh, we're doing good by marching. We're doing good by rioting. Mm. That's not true. No. That's the Leviathan spirit. Yeah. Yes. That's and yeah. humility will kill Leviathan. And that's all. We've got to love our brothers and sisters. We've got to restore. Amen. Otherwise, uh, America's in deep, deep yeah. trouble mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now. So uh, the Bible says in Proverbs 15, 1, a soft answer turns away wrath, mm -hmm. but a harsh word stirs up anger. Mm -hmm. my, one of my favorite scriptures, blessed Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers. Amen. And this is what will be blessed in your church, blessed in your home, blessed by making peace in your home, mm -hmm. blessed by making peace in your church. Say it with me. Blessed, blessed are, the are the peacemakers. Amen. 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 Good word. So turn to Job 41.1. You got us over there already, I think, Lori. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twelve things about the spirit of Leviathan that I want you to know about today. And if you don't have my message on Leviathan, I hope you'll order it today. You yes. can get it for a gift of what, $20? Yes, $20 for one DVD. Mm -hmm. That's $20 for the Leviathan Has Come to America. We also, and the Baker's Dozen. I, I'm just going to say, go for the Baker's Dozen. That's 13 just of these. pass teams. them out to your friends. Pass them out, absolutely. Tell pass them you them found a, an yes, answer. That's right. And a lot of people. Yes are amazed when they they didn't know about Leviathan. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that, that I think is so critical is how can you fight an enemy? How do you fight a spirit mm -hmm. that you're not aware of, that you don't un, that you don't know its traits and how they're coming out in even your personal life? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you come against that spirit if you don't know what the spirit is that you're fighting? So it's so crucial for us to understand so we can take authority. And I believe today is we have to stop, you know, allowing ourselves to to go and allow Leviathan to work in our families. We have to take the authority and God has given us that authority to come against a spirit, but we have to recognize what are the traits that he's using against us. Mm -hmm. It says, can you draw out Leviathan with a hook or snare his tongue with a line which you lower? Can you put a reed through his nose mm. or pierce his jaw with a hook? He will make, will he make many supplications to you? Will he speak softly to you? 
You know, like some politicians do. <laughs> Number one, the Spirit will keep you from your God given goals. Mm -hmm. It's so true. And we've seen this over and over again. You know, I'm at the beginning of the year and actually after we were, were start, we started taping here um, at the Parsonage, we had an amazing guest on and she's going to be back with us. But her name is Emma Stark. And many of you watched that show, ordered her books and just love what she had to say and she had a powerful word for us as Jim was after his stroke laying in bed and Emma we didn't have it scheduled to talk about the spirit of Leviathan mm -hmm. and why don't you guys just roll that b-roll real quick and let's just see what Emma Stark had to say to us about earlier Leviathan. This, earlier this year about Leviathan you saw Le a, that spirit of Leviathan yes that's tried to crush this ministry could you speak into that a little bit Yes, I mean, Leviathan, we read in scripture as a real creature in, in the Psalms. But by the time we get to Job, it really is a symbol of an absolutely horrific, demonic strongman, one of the highest demonic strongmen that there are, he likened as, as one as close to Satan. And really what he does is he blows uh, smoke, uh, Job 41 and 42 says this, he blows smoke from his nostrils and he creates uh, confusion in communication. That's his speciality. And it says that the scales on his neck are tight together. In other words, he will try to gather masses of people to stand against you and to distort what you're trying to say, that actually you will say one thing, it will go through the smoke and fire of Leviathan's nostrils and people will think they heard something completely different. And so I just saw this Leviathan spirit I saw it more close to you than I would ideally like. And I'm so yeah. glad you gave me the opportunity because I heard the Lord just speak into my ear, take out its teeth. Because when oh. you are caught in the jaw of Leviathan, it, it is utterly crushing. It's a horrible thing to be in the mouth of. And you feel like you can't breathe. And it's trying to create a prayerless generation. That's what it's trying to do. It's wow. trying to stop those who would lead people into intercession. That's where it goes. First, if you want to raise up prophets, spokespeople, and watchmen intercessors, that's predominantly where it will go after and try to claw down. It also has a, a part of it that is vile in its criticism. And I, I tell you this, if you've ever had people uh, criticize you, you know how stinging that can be. And that is the point of Leviathan, to if it doesn't uh, take you out with miscommunication, it will then try to sting you with criticism so that you feel so disempowered that you you and so under that curse that you cannot regroup and so of course we go straight into Matthew's gospel where it says blessed are you when people curse you and say all sorts of things against you for my name so the mindset is well do you know what I am just going to take hold of the blessing from Matthew's gospel that is due to me when Leviathan operates and say, that blessing is mine because I've been falsely, uh, I've been misrepresented. I've been falsely accused. So I heard the spirit of the Lord say this. If we would go like David and reach down a simple stone from the brook and throw it with accuracy, we would take out the marauding assignment of the teeth of Leviathan against you. So let me just do that because I felt like yes, the Lord was saying yes. it's that simple because, of course, we've got agreement and we've got understanding of what the demon is. And that is really powerful together. So let me just pray if that's OK. In the name of Jesus, we now agree that Leviathan Leviathan's teeth are removed from the Jim Baker show. And yes. right now, that clamping, that squeezing, that oppression, we say no more in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak a freedom over you. I speak a liberty to move. I say the day of free movement is back in your court, says the Lord. And the spirit of the Lord says you're going to run and you're going to run again and you're not going to grow weary. You're going to walk and you're not going to faint. But those teeth right now, we grab hold of them 
in the spirit realm and we say there is a cease and desist order over the jaw of Leviathan right now in Jesus mighty name and we say you do no longer have the right and I release a burning fire of God on you Leviathan and I burn you off these people I burn you off their legacy I burn you off their ministry and I speak over you that this is now a Leviathan free zone that communication will be heard it will go forth it will be understood and that oppression that you have felt you know with even within your staff uh, even w- within yourselves though you you, you you know you're too professional to say it and we've never talked about that but the oppression that you feel yourselves we choose as those who love you to break it in the name of Jesus mm. and I just see Leviathan like he's been hit in the spirit and I'm seeing Leviathan <laughs> right. going where did that where did that come from where did that come from <laughs> so Leviathan now is assassinated in the name of Jesus around you and clarity and truth and revelation now have a platform without inf- infection and without that level of warfare the Lord is changing the warfare over your ministry he is telling right. me that right now the level of warfare is shifting and the Lord says I am bringing that truth that my yoke is easy and my burden is light truly into the midst of you says the Lord oh Ooh, boy yeah. he just started wow. 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 Slaughtered from our place yes, here. Amen. I don't believe he can. I don't. Thank you, Father. And he tried to kill me. He tried mm-hmm. to kill you. He's yeah. tried to destroy this ministry. Yeah. And yet, God, in the midst of this, has is killing mm-hmm. Leviathan amen. spirit. That's amen. right. And we amen. are seeing victory. Yes. Well, listen. What she said. Did you hear what Emma said? Dad? She said, "If you're a ministry who is providing a voice, providing a platform for the prophets, mm-hmm. yeah. raising up this next generation, this is what you have done." Mm-hmm. So, so of course. Leviathan spirit would come against us yeah. like it has. But I, when she said that this is a Leviathan free zone, I encourage you start proclaiming Amen. that over your life. You are here. living in a, in a Leviathan free zone. Leviathan Amen. has no power, no authority over you, over your family, over anything that you touch in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I'm believing God that we're going to see yes. the studio built yes. this, Amen. this next few months. Yes. Amen. And we're going to see the miracle of the defeat of Leviathan and the the studio there that he said, you'll never do that. He's a lying spirit. That's right. But number one, the spirit will keep you from your God given goals. Mm -hmm. And we have God given goals here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we uh, know, you know what this Leviathan does? He Mm. seeks out people who have been hurt. Yeah. Wow. You know. I've been hurt. So true. Mm-hmm. We've all been hurt at sure. some point, I think, yeah. you know. Yeah. But he wants people to feel sorry for themselves. Yeah. He wants mm-hmm. people right. that he can say, oh, look, blame this person, yeah. blame that person, blame the church. Mm-hmm. Her mm-hmm. people panic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. This is powerful what you're uncovering right now. This is a word for you because you have been living in panic. Stop panicking. Yes. The wound is not what hurts you. It's the panic looking at the wound is what freaks you out and panics you. But I'm telling you, you are exposing. The first key is exposing Leviathan in your life. The moment we expose all the craziness that took place from the beginning the one thing about seasoned people is that they don't panic. Mm. Let me tell you something. The reason why we're still here yeah. is because these two leaders right. have Amen. been through something in life yes. that taught us one thing. Don't panic. Amen. What did we do? We didn't panic because you didn't panic. Maybe you did and just you didn't let us know. Well, we just keep on going, though. <laughs> That's, right. That's it. But you know what? When you panic, Leviathan moves and, 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 and it starts going in people start tearing each other down instead i've always said this since i met you that the people that describe this man is jim baker is a walking human walking in humility yeah 
Humility is what disarmed Leviathan in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when the enemy came against this camp, mm -hmm. the number one thing that we used to disarm it mm -hmm. was actually two. One, don't panic. But the main one was humility. Yeah. That's so, where yeah. I saw Leviathan Amen. begin to give away and then wisdom set in and all mm -hmm. of a sudden all God given goals still remain in place. And Amen. I saw Maricela said, we're still going to fulfill what That's God right. gave us yes. at the beginning of this year. That's right. And we're going to yes. finish Amen. it because the well, year's not over. Well, guess what? God is not over with you. Stay put because you're about to witness something that we like to call in the Christian world is called a miracle in Amen. your life. I love with, being a part of this with, moment because a miracle is taking place in this ministry by one scripture, and that is called in, walking in humility. Mm -hmm. But with David's army, we, our <laughs> David's <Yeah>. army, <laughs> yeah. and we have a big David's army. We have children in our David's army. Mm -hmm. We have our children. That's and right. and it, 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 it was almost like, why don't you give up, Jim? You know, yeah. you had a stroke. You've done this. We've done this. The devil's winning, mm -hmm. and and gonna, we're stealing your money. We're doing this, we're, but yet greater yeah. is He that's, that's in us. Right. Amen. Amen. And God, as we have stood still, we have seen yes. the victory of God. That's Amen. right. And even our children yes. declare the victory of God. That's right. Yes. You yes. See? And so the whole family needs to declare victory. Yes. And and. The devil wants to get, if you've been hurt during this terrible virus thing, yeah. you need to, you need to say, God, heal all my hurts. Yes, oh, Father. Jesus. Because God wants to lift you up. Let's mm. read in the Living Bible, Job 41.3. Here's what, here's what Leviathan, what he says, he will beg you to desist. That means to stop. Or he'll try to flatter you from your intentions wow. mm -hmm. and say, oh, you're, you're too good to, to go through all of this. You, mm. you know, the devil, the, mm -hmm. the God doesn't love you anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, right. you know, how the devil flatters oh, yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bishop Ron Webb uh, calls the dangerous thing that happens when this Leviathan spirit comes around. Mm hmm he, he brings the wound lickers, he mm, calls them. That's wow. right. Well, that sounds kind of nasty, but they... Yeah. That's true, though. They're the ones who who go, oh, poor you. Yeah, oh, you're right. You should, you. It's, I'm poor so sorry you. that they did this yeah. to you, and you and, really have a and right to And then you get feel to feeling sorry for way. yourself. Yeah. And these wound lickers right. will destroy you more than anyone else. They really mm. will. The intentions... Wow. Uh, the goals. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Job 41.4. Will he make covenant with you, that which is a binding agreement? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Number two, wow. the Leviathan spirit is a covenant breaking spirit. It breaks covenants with a husband and wife, breaks covenants with families and with churches and with cities and with politicians. And it's, it's especially with jealousies. So like in a marriage or in a business, truce breakers, mm -hmm. agreement breakers, friendship breaking spirit, traitors. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, you know, when I went to prison, it was people who supposedly were Christians mm -hmm. who put me in prison. And, and, and that is something that just but you know breaks your heart absolutely and this is where we are this this, this is leviathan this yeah. these things you don't get yeah you say well why would you know why would somebody want to put you in prison why would somebody want to do this mm. you know and i sat in prison i said lord why am i in prison for preaching right yeah. mm. wow and you know the bitterness uh absalom's bitterness rebellion, charmed witchcraft. He stole the hearts of the people from David. Mm -hmm. the, the devil wants to break up your team. Yeah. He wants to break up our ministry. Mm -hmm. He's tried it. I, I, I mean, th this, this cold Yeah. 
the COVID-19 coronavirus. It's just, it's just shocking how it's, it's, it's hit our staff. It hits, it's hit everybody everywhere. I think it seems like. Absolutely. I think you're describing Leviathan at his perfection right now trying to break up the team, trying to break up society, trying to break up going to church, trying to break up having life as normal. Yeah, we try great. to take precaution as we we're talking, but when you watch the headlines of what is taking place in, for example, in California, how they're trying to, a third of California is being in lockdown. Is that called not breaking up a team right wow. there? Where yeah. restaurants are going yeah. under, people that are, you know, trying to invest money, trying to meet all people the standards. trying to work, trying to make yeah. money to pay their bills are not able to because they're not allowed to. Yeah. It is a desperate desperate time yeah. and this is the the Leviathan spirit that's yeah. in the world that's the right. devil wants to break up your team wow whether it's a restaurant team a church team that's right. family team yeah he wants remember teamwork is making the dream work that's, that's what right. makes Ooh. the dream work yeah that's why that's why we kept going here that's right. yeah, yeah. Teamwork. absolutely i was in bed and and I've still been in bed a lot, but I've been in bed for a year almost, and you kept going. Yes, because you, there comes a point you have Why to make a choice. Why didn't you quit? Because we have to make a choice to hold up your arms and to say, if God has said it, and if he has said that this is what this ministry is going to do, then we are going to do our part. Faith without works is dead. So we keep going, and really, for me... But you are, you are daughter. Yeah. I'm father yeah <laughs> and fathers are supposed to t- take a hold yeah but yet i was so badly yeah. uh, injured and mm. yet you kept working yeah. because we the, we make a choice Marcella to your legacy going kept yeah. working that's right little lori kept yes. working mondo kept working yes lori kept working yeah you kept going in meetings mm-hmm. you had meetings behind my back <laughs> <laughs> no they yeah. didn't they really didn't <laughs> they had meetings yeah. because i was too sick to be in yeah. the meetings sometimes and yet you would have the meetings yes and what did you do Why well, i was in bed sick it looked like the ministry was not going to go on and yet the voice of the prophets. We launched it. Mm-hmm. It went for. Well, I'd had a stroke. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. kept on going. We kept going. Because, Dad, you've always taught us. You've always taught us, guess what? Regardless of what you're facing, you take one step. You keep moving. You don't stop. You don't lay down and die. You keep moving and trusting the God that we serve. And that's honestly what we Amen. have done. And more importantly, we yeah. made a conscious decision every day. You know, every single day I spoke out loud and said, Today, Lord, I choose. I'm making a conscious decision. I will not cooperate with the enemy. I will not cooperate with the spirit of Leviathan and mm-hmm. its tactics. And that's what we have to do. We have to take hold of these spirits and say, Lord, we will not cooperate mm-hmm. with the enemy. That's Amen. what we have to do. Amen. And this is the miracle that's going to keep your home. Yes. Amen. Rebuild. Restore. Yes. Everything the enemy has stolen yes. from you Amen. is yes. to be restored. Yes, Lord. And we're going to Amen. see restoration in the body of That's Christ, right. in the family of, uh, of God. He, he says that the devil, you know, when he comes against you, greater is God who's in you. Mm. And that if two agree, Matthew yeah. 18 and 19, my favorite scripture, is two agree as touching anything they mm-hmm. ask. Thank what do we Lord. do around here? We just yeah, pray and agree. Right. That's right. Absolutely. You that's pray right. for me. That's I pray right. for yeah. you. We all pray Amen. for each other. And we just keep working. Yes, we just right. don't stop. Amen. The easiest thing is to stop. Yes, that's right. and, and there's days when I'm not working. I'm not, I'm not strong. But yet I keep praying. I keep asking mm-hmm. God to be with me. Amen. And God has... Our family has stayed together. Yeah. And to all oh, that unity, Amen. teamwork does what? Makes Make the, the dream, dream work. work. Teamwork makes, makes the, the dream, dream work. Amen. 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 Matthew 18 and 19. Two agreeing together. Amen. Thank you. So God. let's believe God. 
Let's believe God today. Amen. Our time's going to be gone, but w I'm going to be talking about this for the next couple of days. Yeah. And I want people to be able to understand you can have power over yeah. the Leviathan spirit. Amen. This is a wicked, slimy, snaky looking mm. spirit. And it wants to destroy the church. Yeah. But greater is God yes. who says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He is in charge of his church. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so, you know, Ron Webb kept, he would keep teaching about the low in the Leviathan spirit that mm -hmm. The wound lickers, mm -hmm. and those are people who come around, just lick your wounds, yeah. just want you to feel okay in the midst of your problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're lo wo wound lickers, and uh, they cause better bitterness, mm. wow. rebellion, witchcraft, and uh, Absalom. Mm. really charm the people with this, you know. With the this, spirit. The spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very important. And he stole the hearts of, you know, from the of the people, from David. From David. From yeah. King David. I mean, that is, it's really an, an amazing. That, that is what divides word. churches. Mm. Yeah. They're, they're wound lickers. Yeah. They're going, oh, you poor people, wow. your, your pastor don't understand you yeah. he doesn't love you mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. wow but i want people to today we're offering a very special offer we really and i are. i want them to get my message this is preached in front of a live congregation mm -hmm. so i want you to you have that video Yes. For a gift of $20. Yes, $20, that's right. And then we also have the three. Three of the Leviathan has come to America offer, and that's for a donation of $50, which includes shipping and handling. But we have the Baker's Dozen, 13 DVD teachings, and that's 13 of the Leviathan has come to America for a donation of $100 to the ministry, and that includes shipping and handling. Dad, one of the biggest things that you preach about here in your message is how the spirit of Leviathan causes despair. Mm -hmm. and we have been preaching you said our word for this month is hope because despair right. literally what does despair do it's the complete loss or absence of hope mm -hmm. so the spirit of leviathan is literally causing this absence where people are hopeless they're so hopeless that they're literally taking their own life mm, the, yes, the yeah. suicide rates have skyrocketed it's in terrible. america this is something that should be alarming to the church that people are losing such hope but we have to recognize you say here dad that the spirit of leviathan causes despair it it means we are we become hopeless yeah and the word I have to go back to the word because this morning when we were talking about mm -hmm. the spirit of Leviathan mm -hmm. and how hopeless people are feeling the word says in Romans 12 12 here is what it says rejoice in hope be patient in suffering mm -hmm. persevere in prayer and that's what I ask you today take that take hold of this spirit take authority and how do you do it it's by rejoicing in hope mm -hmm. finding hope in the Lord it's by being being patient during your time of suffering, whatever mm -hmm. this, whatever the suffering is that you're mm -hmm. facing, be right. patient in it. That's right. And it's persevere in prayer. That's Pray. It. Pray to the God who can hear your prayers mm -hmm. and stand in agreement with one another. But we must have hope during these times that we're living in. That's right. That's excellent scripture. You know, we have a special book offer today. Yes. I'm hoping people will order the books. Yes. We actually named it the Give Hope Offer. So this is going to be a way for you to hand out books that will bring hope in this season mm -hmm. that we're living in. But the greatest hope is this. That's it. The Bible, the mm -hmm. Word. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest gift that you could ever give anyone in mm -hmm. your life. And we have the Restoration PTL, our beautiful PTL Restoration Bible. And we're going to send you seven different books that we have here. Well, the Bible's worth $81. That's right, oh, absolutely. Yes. All for $81 donation to the ministry. You're going to receive Peace of Your Mind, Hope for Your Heart book, Speak Life book. Now's the time for us to speak life, Breakthrough Faith, 
Har the Harbinger 2 book, which is truly, I believe, one of the greatest books ever written to give us hope and to understand, to be the watchman yeah. for the days yeah. that we're living in. The prophetic voice of God book, Acres of Diamonds book, and we're also oh, going to send that's you. That's a great story. That's right. We're sending, including his teaching, his DVD teaching. Uh, of the Acres of Diamond, the Sound of Freedom book. And so all these, once again, this is Give Hope book offer. Pass these out to people in your life who they just need an extra, a little bit of encouragement. Give them hope. This is a way that you can do that for $81 donation. This all includes shipping and handling. You'll receive the PTL Restoration Bible, seven books and one DVD teaching, all for $81. And this oh is a way lands. that you can bless people to give hope. That's incredible. Yes. That's Why is incredible it $81? Bundle. $81 because we have launched that. This is a special time for us. Every year we celebrate your birthday. This is your birthday <laughs> offer. No! Yes. We're here. It's Can 81. It be? It, can it be? I know. It's amazing. I don't have another birthday. That's right. It's, we're here. It was just 80. <laughs> it we, was just 80. Yes. My, my years are passing very quickly. Yes. But I know this is a special so time. So I've lived to be 81 give, almost. Yes. We want to give our partners special gifts that they can can give hope during this time. So call us right now. This is a way for you to stand with our ministry, stand with Jim Baker and the mandate yes. that God has given, given us. Mm -hmm. But this is a time for us to give hope, to give encouragement to the world, to the church, Amen. and say, guess what? The King is coming back. Yes, so we need this broadcast to stay on the air. We need your help. We need your support. We can't do it alone. You know, but as Dad said, teamwork makes the dream work, and you are part of that team. That's so it. call us for this $81 donation at one 988 Go to the website, jimbakershow.com. There are so many offers. We've launched all of our 81 birthday offers. Wow. We might not be able to get to them during the broadcast, but there's so many amazing deals that you can have that will bless your family. Wow, is that mm. a powerful Yes, bargain. it's amazing, oh. yes. Oh, yeah. $81 yeah. to and get. And many of these voices, the, this is truly the voice of the prophet. How many, many voices? Is. How many books and Bibles? Yes. The one Bible, mm -hmm. our giant print Bible, and leather, you Love know, it. faux leather. And that's worth more than oh, $81. absolutely. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. This is my thing. I cherish this Bible. Mm -hmm. It has all my notes. and. So you're getting the massive buy yes, on the Bible. That's right. And everybody... And all the other books for seven free. books, <laughs> yes, seven, seven great books from Prophetic yes. Voices and one DVD teaching. Wow. All this, for $81 donation. That, that is a That's really right. massive buy. Yes, but we selected books that would truly bring you hope and bring They're you the, encouragement. They're some great, great That's books right. of all times, yeah. too. Yeah, same and, and books that I'm sure some haven't read yet. Yes. And great books to Amen. do gifts, yes. birthday gifts, Christmas That's right. gifts. Well, All I love what mom does. You know, she she's taught us even, you know, always have books in your in the trunk of your car oh. so that if you meet someone, you never know who you're going to meet, who needs encouragement, who needs some hope. And yeah. you can, that's a way I say for all of us, guess what? God has commissioned us to be the light. Yeah. And so that's a way you never know what that book may do in someone's life to it's help true. bring them hope. It's true. I know I have every single one of those books in my library yes. um, here at home. And I encourage you to have your, as Jim calls it, last put these books in as your last day's library as well if yeah. you haven't read them yet you need to read every single one of them they're that amazing but they're always to share with others yeah, yeah always share all, some of you say jim i've gotten so many books from you i don't know what to do with them ha have a library yeah. in your own home that people come and borrow books yep that's right, right. amen Amen. Yep, that's good. They may yeah. not bring them back, but who cares? <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's right. You're, you're, you're doing a missionary's yes. job. Amen. That's Amen. it. Amen. Amen. That's good. I'm going to read 2 Timothy 3 1, but I want you to be sure to make this order today. Our time's running away from yes. us, but I want you to be sure to order this book deal. Yes. For $81. $81 donation. Th th this can help us to make it through the That's Christmas right. month Amen. and through this holiday and to the end of the year. We really, really need your yes. help. Amen. We really do. Amen. I don't, I don't know how we'll make it, but we always have made it with God's help. Amen. And we Thank need you, miracles yes, now. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And Amen. with your help and your gifts, we're going to make it. Amen. But let me, let me read another scripture to you. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, covetous, 
boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. Wow. That is so powerful, people. Yeah, it it to really To know is. what God has for us yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Job 41. Will you take him as a servant forever? Will you play with him as with a bird? Wow. Or will you leash him for your maidens? Will you, your companions make a banquet of him? Will they appropriate him among the merchant? You cannot get by with playing with the devil. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. That's right. So the, the, the key is, it says, can you fill his skin with harpoons mm -hmm. or his head with fishing spears? Leviathan, the third thing this spirit does, it gets in your flesh and it gets in your thought life and it just it won't let go they, it does not want to leave you it wants to hold you and m possess you mm -hmm. there's it, it, it's like there's no hope of defeating it job 41 verse 9 and 10 there's no hope of defeating it it's fear and worry just seeing it, this, this Leviathan, is overwhelming. So the third thing this spirit does, it gets into your flesh and your thought life. And the old saying, what happens in your mind will what? Happen in Happen time. In time. Mm -hmm. No one is brave enough to make it angry, it says here. So who would be able to stand up against me? The fourth thing this spirit does, it makes you feel hopeless, mm. overwhelmed. Yes. Expectations. You have false expectations. I, I remember uh, Gary Smalley, Lori. Yeah. Our dear friend. Yes. He used to always teach us this unrealistic expectations lead to great disappointment. Mm. So if you have Un unrealistic expectations and that's over someone that or over something. Does. That's right. It will lead to a great disappointment mm -hmm. in your life. It says, 2 Corinthians 10, 5, casting down imaginations mm -hmm. and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God mm -hmm. and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. So it's so important. Yeah. We cut off bad I call them friendships, but they're not really friendships. But yeah. when people are f speaking evil into yeah. our lives, mm -hmm. yes. and mm -hmm. we must not hang around with the wrong. And that's why young people they get with the wrong crowd, right. and then they destroy them. Yeah. That's right. There's so much but, more, and we're going to continue to teach and on this leviathan spirit that's been unleashed yes. in america today in the world today like yeah. never before but we have the ways yeah let me yeah. close with yeah. the, the fifth point and then we'll, we'll start with that okay. on our next program yes. about leviathan number five the spirit of god is greater Amen. than the spirit of leviathan Amen. god yes you do not owe the devil anything wow you hear me yes Good. you are of god little children have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world yeah. so number five the number five the spirit of god is greater amen. than the spirit of leviathan amen mm -hmm. you yes. do not owe the devil anything yes so don't listen to the wound lickers. Don't listen to those who want to make you feel sorry, sorry. for yourself. 
They want to control you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Our time is absolutely gone today. Yes. And I hope everybody will order. Yes, absolutely. The, the whole message. Mm -hmm. um, the Leviathan message. Yes, it's 90 minutes of teaching, and you were on fire. I'm like, man, he gets you fired up. So if you want to be fired up, this is the DVD teaching that you have to get. One for $20 donation. Mm -hmm. It includes shipping and handling, and this will help us to continue to stay on the air. Three, the friends and family offer for $50 donation, or the baker's dozen, 13 of the DVD teachings mm -hmm. for a $100 donation, and that includes the shipping and handling. So call us. Yes. 1-888-988-1588 or go to the website jimbakershow.com. You can also see all the offers that Marcella and her team put together, the $81 offers that we just yes. launched today. Yeah, that's to right. Don't forget, order the Jim Give birthday. Hope. Yes, it's the Give Hope book offer. $81 donation. One of our Bibles, our special Bibles that we had made for our ministry here. Seven books yeah. from Prophetic Voices, one DVD teachings, all for $81 donation. Give Hope book offer. That includes shipping and handling. And quickly, Dad, before we leave, I just have to say we have the vitamin D and yeah. vitamin C. The brand new vitamin C so is now available on our website for an $81 donation. You're going to receive two vitamin D bottles, which is 60 capsules per bottle, and two of the vitamin C bottles. And also, we're going to throw in, so many of you have been asking, can I try the complete? I'd like to try it. So with this special offer, we're going to send you a sample packet of the complete essentials on the go. Wow. That's all for $81. So go to the website and check out all the brand new birthday offers to represent and to really just honor dad for his 81 years of serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. But call us right now, 888-988-1588. Go to the website, jimbakershow.com. And remember, you can still write us at P.O. Box. 7330 Branson, Missouri 65615 and say we're standing with you. Amen. We want to thank you guys. You've yes. stood with us. You continue sure to stand have. with us. And we we just we love you guys we for doing do. that. We do. Thank you. Your love offerings mean so Amen. much. Yes. And we need miracles. We do. Amen. And you know, I I haven't overcome my 80th birthday yes, yet. Yes, I know, Dad. Yeah. You guys Celebrated. have announced my 81st I know, now coming it's up. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so, well, at least I'm still alive. Amen. <laughs> Woo! Praise God. Thank you, He's Lord. He's still with us. So Amen. thank you all for being with us today. God loves you. We've got so much news to share with you. And don't miss our next broadcast. And we'll be continuing our message on the spirit of Leviathan and how we overcome this spirit that has tried to take over the world. Greater is he that's in us. Remember that. Yes. yes than this Leviathan spirit yes. in the world. Amen. God loves you. He really, really does. Bye-bye for today. Bye-bye. We love you.